Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Just uh, looking at our Weezwort that we just put in. I Actually, I had them turn this off because we're polluted oxygen. is pretty much cleared out through here. Um, 103 degrees up here, Fahrenheit. In the first room, 90s. And almost 100, 80s. Almost 90, 75, and almost 80. Okay, over in here, 75, and yeah, okay. Well, let's, if I remember, toward the end of this episode, let's see just what we've got going on here, and we'll see how the how cold acts in this game. Does cold drop and heat rise? That's what I'm curious about. Will this drop through, or do we need to be actually blowing that air around somehow? Um, what else? Got to keep track of this carbon dioxide buildup. Yeah, really what we need to do is just keep the, uh, the pressure building in here. And I'm thinking we need to, the 500 is not going to do it. Let's go up to 1,000. Ish. There. And here. Oh, that's down to 300. Okay. So, somewhere around there. Pressure over here. Yeah, we're still pretty wimpy. Let's let this build for a while. We do need to do something about the algae. We're real low on it. We were tunneling up into here and grabbing what we can and running the uh, uh, the slime machines, uh, the uh, algae makers. And Ickus, just for you... Click and click. There you go. Now you can sleep tonight. But um, otherwise, I kind of want to get this done so that we can drop this water down and we can clear out a lot of this internal stuff in here. And I'm also tempted to kind of dive right into this huge pocket of algae over here. question is how best to get there. We've got, now we've got a potential pathway over here. I guess we could do that. Don't, didn't know what I was going to do with this floor or this this uh, room. It doesn't line up with the other side because of the way that I built these. It probably could have. There's one, two spaces. I could have added a, a space above each one and this floor would have landed up there and then we would have been back on track. Otherwise, we could make two tight floors out of this. One of them being a, a, a pathway. That's interesting. So if we were to do... Now, the best to be high... Chlorine drops. Hydrogen rises. Whatever we do, we're going to kind of open up these voids. And the chlorine and the, the hydrogen are going to kind of mix in here. And eventually striate to hydrogen at the top, chlorine at the bottom. And in that chlorine, do we have access? Yes, we do. Bleachstone. When we get a hold of the bleachstone, we can set up the... Boy, medical? The hand sanitizer. And that will let them clean themselves up without having to take a shower. So that will help out uh, efficiency-wise. Don't see any more bleachstone in here, though. You are coal. We will need you eventually. Yeah, I kind of want to dive into that. It might get us there a lot faster than going into here. How much slime do we have? Quite a bit. So we could hold off on a lot of this. We'll let them do what they want to do for now until I plan this out. Maybe that's the way to do it. Then we'll re reorganize uh, the priorities and get them moving in this direction. So if we were to go tile sandstone and one, two, leaves, if we do that, we have three and two. Hmm. Let's put the two at the bottom. I'm thinking. Cancel all. Take out that and that. This one is just a way to walk through. Okay. I think. We clear enough of this out. There's not much chlorine that we can see. It will stay low. Which means hydrogen is going to take up the upper half. Hydrogen will sneak through pretty easy. If we can get enough algae going to run these guys enough to get the pressure high in... Where's gas? That one? No. That one. Pressure high in here, then we open these doors, it's going to push that way. And if we were to set three doors in there, 
each one pressurizing and then pressurizing like an airlock basically and pushing outward. If the pressure is always higher in here, that's a big if, it should push through. Where are we? We're a thousand grams of pressure in here though. Thousand, thousand. It's going to be a while before we're uh, capable of saying we're higher pressure in here than there. Huh. Although if I can clear out a lot of this before we pop into these, they'll drop into voids with very little pressure and that will even these out. Okay, that sounds a little better. Let's put in a, I think a mechanized lock. There, there, there. Now how are we going to power these? What do we have in the way of power right now? We added a whole bunch to this circuit. So we're at 840. These are what, one, where is that? That's here, 120s? These are 120s. Okay. Question is, do mechanized locks draw power? I want to call them, yeah, mechanized air locks. Pause. Draw power, no power. Okay, that doesn't help me any. When they're not being operated, are they at zero watts? And only the 120 when the door opens. That's I'm curious about. We've got to get these guys going. And power is really low on the jobs list here. So before they're going to do anything that we have queued up at, at a 9 up in here, if those are still 9s, they're going to run power. So what are they doing instead? Maybe grabbing food and, yep, right, no. Eating, who knows what. Something superseded that. But that gives us power, and I'm curious. So I have the ability to see. Let's pause a second. Here's what's powered on this circuit. One algae deoxifier. The research stations are not powered right now. Mechanized airlock is not powered right now. Okay, so it's only 120 when the thing opens up and closes. And then these these two are running right now. So that gives us 240, 360 is actually running. Is that true? 360 out of 840 is running. Okay, so I could put these that's the wrong button. I could put these guys on that circuit over there with no problem. It'd only be just little little bursts of, of usage and that's it. Okay, with that, is that truly the best plan? You are of 1.2, but only 360 is being used right now. It'd be easier to do that. We're going to eventually get rid of this guy, which is equivalent to one of them. Let's go that route instead. Power. For something that's hardly ever going to be used. I think we're going to be okay. You're going to run up this thing. Actually down to there. i got to let go. Okay. Alright. In here, there should be no polluted oxygen. So having one of these guys in there is not going to do any, any good. Uh, temperature 108. We are a little warm in this area. Uh huh. So if we were to, is that including all of the pinkish rock? Now we're getting warm in here too because of the heat from this. We're in the hundred degree range. We need to put an insulated barrier in here somewhere at some point. I mean, all of uh, cancel building. All of this should be insulation. Insulated. That, yeah. You insulated tile. Like so. Like so. Do we want to be into here? Could be. Let's cancel back to there. And cancel building to there. All right, mechanized lock there. Mechanized because they're faster. They'll open for them. This guy goes away. Power. Up into there. Uh, there. Okay. So that gets them into here. Then what? So we're not going to pop any of these. They. It's considered toxic. They. It, it's kind of like saying they're not going to be breathing while they're in here. You'll see their little uh, pink bar under their name start to decrease until they get 
back out to oxygen again, then they'll be fine. So that's unrefrigerated food. Yeah. Um, that is a problem that I, I'm a little concerned about. We could grab another Wheeze Wart and relocate them to here. Start chilling this area. Do we have any information here yet? Temperature. Yeah. No. That's even hotter. Really? It hasn't helped a bit? 94.6. 4. Looking right over here. Are we going to touch below 4? We're traveling from 4 to... 0.4 to 0.8. There's a 0.3. There's a 0. Is that going to vary? Yeah, there's a 3.8. It's going to very gradually drift down. Not as fast as I would have expected, though. I wonder if it has anything to do with being partially buried right here. Let's say that that's a possibility. You're gone, and let's dig out 9. There and there. We should still be safe from all this weight up here. Algae is what? 644, so we haven't gone down in algae. <clears throat> Even though we're running this guy, but not running this guy. This guy's running, but probably not enough to do any good. We're going to have to get power going here soon. I guess there's really no way around that. I was really hoping I could get a little bit deeper down, a little bit further away. Some place that I could create a coal generator... Uh, void of, of carbon dioxide dumping in and then dealing with that because we don't really have any good voids in this map or any good you know open areas like this other than what we're creating I don't want to mess this up I went ahead and marked all of the polluted ice in this area should we get to the point to where that's a problem we're getting a little bit of melting going on but it's not uh, not critical and it's odd that I have marked this for a sweep. Unreachable. Why would it, the game consider that to be unreachable? I don't know. It's not critical. It's, it's just bugging me. But I can, I guess, not, too, not worry too much about that. But that is odd that you can't go here and sweep. There's something wrong in the, in the math there. It's just not letting it happen. Um, temperature is still good. 300 grams. Yeah, 300 grams of pressure. We need 150. Still at excellent. We are predicted to get to 88.4. 86. 92. 90. So we're doing pretty darn good there. Only... Oh, there we go. 91.9. Okay. These guys are doing fine. We have got so much food. We've told them they cannot eat the meal lice. So they're just converting the meal ice into life's loaf, and that's staying ahead of what they're eating. Plus we have all of the bristle berries to uh, grab and eat. So we're doing pretty good on food. Not concerned about that. Um, what happened? What? what? I, did I click dig on that? It's possible that I ran across and did that, and not thinking that it would do anything. Picked up a wheeze wart. No, 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 no. Nine. Plant. Come on, yesterday we did so good, I'm not doing something like this. If I were to, say, move here, would somebody else get the order to grab the thing and go plant it? Tomislav, you're the one who planted it yesterday. There you go. Okay. So we'll get that back in. That was my mistake. All right. Oh, your issue is temperature? Uh, your temperature range is negative 9.4 to 73. Temperature in this area is 45 degrees? Wow. Okay. We've got to do something about this. How are we going to do it? Let's put a tile in. 
Um, mesh is probably the best. We have gold available now to choose from, but we will be taking copper for now. Still have 12,000 of that. Let's go... Can I go that close? If I can? No, I won't. I need to be able to walk through there. Okay. You're going to go there. We want a vase. Right there. Out of sandstone. Yep. What's the difference? Decor plus 0.1. That's not very much. Decor plus 0.2. And that's it. Overheat temperature goes up with, with these other ones. Okay. Anyway, you're there. And let's get this one built right here before our eyes. Or not. <laughs> there we go. We'll kick the speed up a little bit. I want to flip the switch in there to uh, to get Wee's Warts in. So who? I think someone just supplied it. Yeah, it's under construction now. There we go. All right, back to speed one. I want to dig up a Wee's Wart. I forgot that there wasn't anything available. All right, you need the order to uproot. And if I were to do that again with a nine, would it happen much quicker? Time. we got plenty of day left. Okay. And this probably takes precedent over that. Over a dig order. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, well, somebody will get the order. And it's just giving us more food. That's fine. Once that happens, they'll automatically come up here and, and place that in here. But this being randomly unrefrigerated, that's 15 degrees there. So how is this 45 degrees? It still says 45 degrees down there in the oxygen. It's really that much temperature difference, 46 degrees. Now, what was our range again? I was looking at the low. I didn't think of looking at the high. We've, as long as we stay, you know, no warmer than 73, 50, 51. So we're still in a good range there. Okay. Yeah, we're we're running safe. That's fine. Uh, water. Is still doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Good. Now. When I was kicking around, though I don't think the 70 degree water is harming anything. Could that be what's cooling me? What's warming me up over here? Is that possible? And it was still showing nice and blue right there. 47 degrees. Coming out of here at 69. And yet, that liquid content is 48. That's really chilling. It's interesting. That is getting that cold that fast. So they have repaired something with the last update, causing the, my, my understanding of it, causing the pipes to be able to absorb temperature from the uh, external environment, rather than maintaining the source temperature throughout. So maybe we're seeing that happen here. We're coming out of here 64 degrees. There's 50 degrees right there. Ooh, 62, 59, 57. And that probably fits right in line with this going into colder and colder territory. Yeah. So when we need to chill water for our base, we should now be able to run a pipe through back and forth a couple of times and then back in and drip it back in and chill everything that's in a holding uh, trough. Good. Anyway, what have we not accomplished? Let's get back to digging. Let's get back to laying this out. So we want to dig there. And we'll do that one as well. And looks like we need that one dug. Okay, that's because it got that in there. We need all this dug out. Then we want to... Uh, let's move a path through there. Is there anything wrong with that? There's no weight here. It's just gases. So that should be fine. Then we should be able to take out all of that. Like so. Something like that. You are igneous. You are phosphorite. We've got a dupe waiting for us. Anything else in here? I eventually want to get to these guys, so I'm not going to queue them up. Unknown coal. Well, 
We have coal over here, and we are going to need this at some point. So if we were to put dig orders in there, something like that. So that means we may as well do that to get to those. Okay, that means a ladder. Where? I would say something like that. There. Actually, just there. Cancel. Dig. Okay, everything else is reachable. When we get to this area, we're going to want to ladder... Am I clicking it? There we go. Uh, we can go up four from the bottom. So, looks like we're kind of... There. One, two, three, four, there and there. Something like that. That should get just about everything. We'll find out. All right, so there's a new area to harvest a bunch of algae and some coal eventually. Faster than we're going to get it out of here. Now, let's look at priorities. What are we actually doing right now? These are eights. These could be shifted to sevens for now. Let's do that. So we're going to hold off on continuing through this area. It's done us the, you know, what we needed. We got a bunch of slime out of it. Slime. And we've used a lot of it too, but we've got over 800. We'll work with that. Uh, priorities in this area. Sevens back over here again. So all the sevens are competing with each other. Boy, it's hard to scroll in here in this mode. It really is. It is really taxing the computer. Okay, eights and nines to make sure that all of the uh, the background uh, stuff is being done. Let's run these guys as eights. Let's see. Here down. Through. It probably won't matter that this happens sooner or later. Let's go to there. Let's run that through. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, we're not going to tap any gas, so I don't have to worry about anything spilling in if they miss part of this on their way into there. So I don't need to prioritize certain parts first before the others. Um, it wouldn't hurt, though, to priority 9 this wall and get some insulation in there. Okay. Okay. Um, in that case, <clears throat> that should probably go away. And we probably should put this guy down there. Eventually, I guess we could just do something like that. And then... That's not what I wanted. Ah, something like that. Well, we'll play more with that when we get to that point. These batteries are probably not here long term. They were just here to give us some warmth, and we're having no problems with warmth now, so... Yeah, I don't think that's going to be too worrisome. Do we have any sense that this is working yet? We still do not. Alright, is there anything that we can learn about this vacuum? Well, I guess that's... Saying that there's no air pressure in this space because there's a plant in that space. We're still at 100 degrees. All right, Wieswort, external temperature 88.5.3. Point one. Okay, we're our average is dropping. Yeah, we're back in. Hmm. All right, if a fleshy, cold dwelling plant, Wieswort's remove ambient heat from the air by respiring through their porous outer membranes. Cooling effect and decor. Plus 15, two tile radius. So maybe we're just looking long term to get this to work. You know, an hour's worth of gameplay. And I like our, our painting over here. That's uh, hatch meat and potatoes. That's what we'll call it. And some kind of a berry. <laughs> All right, so we're cooling, kind of. We are not cooling yet. You guys have not gotten the order to do this. Okay, 
let's cancel that. Let's dig at nine and just make sure. Do we have a pathway? This is unbreathable, but does not say unreachable. Okay. What's it going to take to get you guys to, to uh, handle that order? Is there anything I'm missing here that's causing delay? We can jump that one just fine. We can make it down in here. I don't believe this is an issue. But let's dig nine just in case it is. It's, it may be. We're on a vertical here. not a Well, they may be able to drop down on a diagonal through there. But either way, we're going to get rid of that. Okay. So hopefully this happens soon. If it doesn't, then what? They can jump this. We could try for this one. Let's dig nine into here. Um, before I do that, though, where is Natalia going? Who's already low on oxygen, turn around and left. Yeah. But you, you really want to do it, but that's where the oxygen is. Okay, well, if you don't get a new command when you fill your bar up, you may continue the process. Hmm. We'll wait here long enough to find out. Otherwise, we just may be too far away to accomplish the goal. Tomislav, are you going to make it? You're already losing oxygen. There's just not enough oxygen down here. Okay, you got to here. You're cold. You're cold. We got that one done, and you're probably going to leave. You're going to collect that ice, and you're going to go put it somewhere. All right, so we'll see if someone else gets that order to plant here to cool this stuff down. Otherwise, we're eights in here. Did I get that right? I did. Nothing got skipped. No, that looks good. No reason to do these. Probably not. Okay. So eventually we're going to grab algae out of there. we got 280 left. There's 613 slime left, which is being used to process this, except we can't keep enough power running. Okay. So if we were going to put in power, how would we do it? We need to maintain this to keep the hatch under control till we come up with a dedicated hatch area. I think hatches can live in carbon dioxide. I don't think they are too dependent upon uh, uh, oxygen in this game. So maybe we could put them down with the generator. Choose a dupe. Anybody that we want. No learning. 15. That's a no. No learning. 10. And no strength. That's a no. And that's a no. Reject. Okay, maybe next time. Otherwise, carbon dioxide and oxygen. We're starting to... That's interesting. We're no longer seeing the extreme drift. I wondered about that, if it got fixed with this update. Which means this really kind of needs to go back over here again. It really does. <sighs> okay. Okay. Maybe at the end of this episode, I will go through, move him back over, and get this up and running again. We don't need to see that done twice. Otherwise, over here... Where is he? He's right here, and he's just not running because there's no power. Because one of these guys is just not keeping up with the power demands of the circuit anymore, is it? Or am I wrong? I could be wrong. It's 200! You saw me switch that to a thousand. I turned it on. <clears throat> a thousand. That's odd. Okay, well, we'll let her run. We do need algae, though. We really need algae. Tell you what. Let's do this. Let's take out these doors. Since we're not going to let any gas in anyway. Dig through there. And I want a real fast... Of course, we're digging through some pretty hard stuff, so there is no real fast about it. I need some algae. Can you guys do that for me? Priority... Actually, I didn't need that. Priority... Seven <clears throat> up there. Yeah. So let's see what these guys can do when they're given a, a an important project at priority nine. Of course, we had 
this one at nine. It's gone. Okay, Weezwort is gone. Where is that seed? Seeds? Weezwort, one. You, one, nine. All right, that'll get planted. Here it comes right now, right? Now we just reprioritize. You were on your way. You are dumping it into here. Someone's got to pull it back out of here and put it in there. But not Nettie. She's gold. So, Alexander, is that your job? It is not your job either. You are doing what? You're grabbing ice. Because our ice bending machine, we'll call it, which is over the water. Where are we putting ice? I don't remember. It was here. It was here. Liquefiable ice is a nine. Seeds, nine. Let's shift that down one. That's not as important to always be collecting all the ice that we knock out of here. That's not as important. The polluted dirt is. I'm going to say that one stays. This one, well, we're already at nine for fertilizer. That's fine. Okay, so we have got to get power sorted out. We really do. Though... Before we do that, we've got to top off the algae. Yeah, there's so many things that we really need to do. Hmm. We're hitting that point where it's going to be hard to maintain because there are so many demands at once. <clears throat> Food is maintaining. It may be time to bring in at least two more dupes here fairly quickly. Though, once you get them, you're pretty well stuck with them. So you've got to... Uh, you still got to take your time and find the right ones. Someone that just can't make the run because their running is a negative three or athletics, it just doesn't do you any good. So you still got to. Uh, what do we have here? Is you saying you got to 100? Rating? 90 out of 100. So we've got to 90 plus, maybe, is the, uh, the perfect range. Okay. Empty bedrooms? No. Need to pop out two more in order to get a dupe and have a dupe happy. Uh, stress. <clears throat> handy. Natalia. Just handy at the moment. Okay. Yep. Ah, here we go. Nettie's in there just carving away. Alright, let's kick the speed up a bit. Spend a few minutes hopefully seeing something happen in here. They are being triggered to put in a little bit of the wiring. Otherwise, they'll be fine. We're at day 73 now. What are we, something like episode 13? So what is 13 into that? <laughs> um, 15, 30, 60, it's kind of like five days per episode. Yeah, there-ish. We'll run it at speed 2 for a while. We have two hatches over here. I know we have one running this one at night. There's one up in there. Yeah, he's fine. Temperature. Still not making the progress that I expected. I really thought... Well, we're in the 90s. We were near 100 here last time. We were near 100 here last time. Okay. So if we've gone down, it's only been by a degree so far. We... Oh, look at that. That's got more to do with it than we realize. It really does. Okay. A brand new Priority 9. That's cooking us. I don't want to get into here. But that should be safe. Okay, that's right. I already have those marked. You go across like that. And let's do that. From here through and there. And let's see if we get the sense of a temperature drop once this is done. So this is a little iffy. Stress fractures are building. 
Are they going to load materials in? They are, and it's already under construction. Okay. When we get into this one, I would want to make sure we're at the beginning of the day and we have no other you know, high priority nines around to, uh, to make this fail. And we should be able to pop this out and put it back in pretty quickly. Right now we're going to leave everything undug and all of the support structure in place. Because nighttime can happen and everything is still torn up and not re rebuilt. What do we do? Stop for dinner? Stop for lunch? Nobody's eating. We just all had to go run the wheels and do some more harvesting. Yeah. So I would have to turn off harvests when we get into here. For one. We stressed out a little bit. Andy and Murphy are, are the, uh, the ones to be concerned about. What I'm thinking of is after this episode's recorded, I'm going to take these tables down to, say, 15 to 20 and let everybody run through and de-stress. Out of algae, out of slime. That is important, but so is everything else. This may not be reachable in time. So, those are eights over there, right? What do I do here? Nope, those are nines. You're now back to eights. Okay. I'm going to very selectively drop some nines in here. You guys. Let's grab all the slime in this area. All the stuff that's easy and fast. That's slime. That's gold. There's slime there. They're not going to reach all of that, but we'll go as far as they can reach. Up the ladder, we got slime in there. Keep the slime going, we can keep the algae being created. Just head to what they can reach. Uh, they can reach that whole area there, and they can reach this whole area here. Alright, call that good enough. We'll get a, just a few more toppings off of slime and algae and keep everything going okay that's fine we're running the wheel oh we actually can still top off the batteries okay good that's right it wasn't that a power problem it was a thermostat or an atmostat problem so you are still sitting at a thousand good now how are we looking we're looking good here and again it's drifting this way this one is not so much your pressure 400. Your pressure is 900. We've pushed over to here. So we're not going to be able to get anywhere else. We are, though, without carbon dioxide at the food maker and not so much at the wheel, though. This wheel we are. Okay. So that means they can run longer without having to go catch their breath. Temperature. All right. We're seeing something different going on here. We're in all the way. 105, 99. Big difference in these two spaces. 69, 110, 69. Okay. Well, that's looking pretty promising. I don't know if it can move through a diagonal. So I'll tell you what. Let's... 9. Two jobs first thing in the morning. Right there and right there. Okay. Um, temperature over here. 124... 122, 118. Dare we do these two? Boy, that's a big dare. Um, let's look at the priorities over here. Okay. Nope, don't do that. Do that. Nope. I thought I hit the eight. There we go. Let's eight you guys. Ah, these are coming out of here so fast, though. Let's let them. Before we get to the halfway point of the day, though. Yeah, these dig so fast. They'll pop this out of here in no time. Yeah, just about done. Okay. In that case, let's do this. Um, 
let's just drop it in. And then let's priority nine this group. Right. Right there first. Not the five of them. We can come and dig them out, fill them in, and build them. We're going to see cracks in here, but the cracking should stop if they get these built in time. So they'll have more than half a day. This is going to be the thrill of the episode. Because that could be the end of the series. <laughs> okay, we're filling in all the materials first. That's a good thing. I saw them deliver the materials, then dig it up. And then build it immediately. Ah, oh, good job. No cracking forming. Ah, worked perfectly. Okay. Did this get... Dig pending in use. Construction pending. So I think the materials are already there. No cracks noticeably forming. Come on, guys. Make the trip. The cracking shouldn't happen that quickly, except there's a lot of water over the top. I mean, it's, it's busting up what's inside here. And it's not even pushing. So, yeah, I would expect cracking to begin fairly quickly here. Um, there we go. Nettie's diving in there to patch that up. And now let's priority nine. Right there. The last ones. Alright, so that should kill a lot of the heat entering this area. Which should finally give us a little more comfortable area probably by the end of next episode. So, with that... Where am I? Algae's still at zero. This is quickly forming algae. We've got a a thimble reed seed. Okay. Up in there. There's one more dupe. Let's take a peek at this. Then I've got to get this episode turned off. Nope. Nobody good. No learning and almost no skills at all. And a 15. Yeah. We're going to pass on these. Alright. So I'm going to do a little bit between episodes now. I'm going to move the oxygen generator over a bit. Try to get more of a dome shape of oxygen entering this place. And then what? See if I can carve a little bit further into here. See if I can clean out a bit more of this stuff. So we're not really adding more systems, per se. We're just kind of maintaining what's here. And then next episode, maybe dig down into here and start thinking about at least coal power for now. Eventually, we're going to want to put in a oxygen in a electrolyzer, which is going to give us um, hydrogen and oxygen and start capturing the hydrogen at least get a hydrogen generator going though those aren't very dependable oh here's the first of our natural gas which is created by this guy here and with geysers so eventually i believe the natural gas drops we'll see if that's still true after the last update if so we should be accumulating it somewhere in here hopefully or eventually enough we get enough of these guys going and enough power to run these guys get enough of these guys going to build up enough high, uh, natural gas to at least get a burst once in a while out of a natural gas generator. Which probably hasn't been uh, found yet. Power? No. So that is research right there. Which means research needs to get turned back on again. But not yet. I need all hands on deck for a while. So when I get back we should have another one of uh, another uh, dupe ready to be printed. And we'll see if there's some of the weekend salvage out of there. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.